Hi friends, so for today's layout I have made it using Webster's pages. I think they are from postcard from Paris too. So the paper collection was really really beautiful and I have done one more layout and have actually um, shared it with you all I think two weeks back. So this is the second layout I made and this layout is actually for the photo that I took with my husband when we actually went on our first date. So we went on December 7th, 2009. So it's actually nearly six years. Yep, six years going strong, I can say. So yeah, so this is the layout. So you can add a picture here. So I, I'm actually not sure about the measurements, but yeah. So you can add a beautiful picture here. So, yep. So the the background paper I have used here are from the luxury stack, DCWE. And this is from, this main paper is from Webster's Pages. Um, postcard from Paris too, I guess. And these, um, if you can see it, I don't know. These are the page ends or the photo markers, photo ends that I got from eBay. I actually had it in golden color and using perfect pearls I have actually kind of changed them into a bronze color it's like a light golden bronze color it's not completely bronze but kinda in the mix of a copper color you can see yep kinda copper color and I have also added uh, the lace that I got from eBay and yeah you, you guys should check out ebay they have like deals auctions so if you do a bit bidding auctions i guess so i think i won this one on a bidding auction quite some time back it was it was in white color so i have actually altered them in the peacock mm, green color from distress ink so i just wanted it to match to the um, uh, frame here so i thought it will be great and what else so this frame is I, I actually made it use from soft crafters wood wooden chip chippies yeah wooden flourishes that I got from soft crafters so I thought why not use it into uh, use it and make it into a unique frame for yourself so I have actually uh, inked them in the galaxy gold from uh, memento and then I have added these, um, if you can see it, I have added the liquid pearls in bronze color so that it will give a unique dimension to the frame. So the flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have used a variety of flowers. You have the hip rosebuds, you have the chrysanthemums, you have the bigger roses and these curly wild roses and this is a resin rose that I got from eBay and they are really good. Let me see if I could find uh, the link. If I could find them I will put a link below in the description box. And this is also from Webster's Pages, the Eiffel Tower, one of my favorite. And what else? Yep. So I have actually uh, added the Prima Resin the angel but I have not added the resin I have made a mold out of it and I have actually made it using Martha Stewart's air dry clay it may not be perfect but yep it works for me and I can kind of reuse it so many times you can see it in many of my videos I just love this little one he's so cute and uh, these flourishes uh, okay I think I guess I missed one here let me put it like this so I can see clearly. I have to add one more here. I guess I dropped it somewhere. So these uh, are these are the rhinestones that I added using spectrum noir markers. I have colored them using spectrum noir markers in a um, kind of peacock green color. And this is the mint colored liquid pearls, ranger liquid pearls. So these are the liquid pearls and the rhinestones. I have also added like here and there in the layout a few diamond stickles. I don't know if you can see it. Like here, here, 
just like that somewhere and all and yep I have tore the pages like in three places here here and here these butterflies I actually wanted to make butterflies similar to this but I couldn't so I thought okay somewhat similar is this one and I'm really happy with the result it kind of matches with the layout that I made and the page it goes well with the page I should say and um, this frame this recent frame is from Webster's pages I have altered them using color box ink I and again this resin this cabochon I got it from where did I get it I think this one is also from Webster's pages from scrapbook.com I got them from scrapbook.com and I used Sark Crafters brick stencil I had the stencil here and here and I have colored them using the scattered scattered straw or tattered straw scattered straw I guess scattered straw distress ink and I have also mm, stamped bow bunny it is written stamp you can see it here from bow bunny it is written stamp oh here what else am I missing I guess I covered everything yep so this is the layout so hope you guys liked it so see you guys next week with another new layout and if you have any questions please leave a comment below in the comment section see you guys and please do subscribe bye